Okay, the next change that I'm going to make to the game object is setting a speed and angle for our object to move rather than setting the X, Y and Z parameters for the speed. To save time I've actually put this information already into the code and not type it manually. First of all note that I've now added a single line of um, code in my move function which actually calls another function called speed calc. What speed calc has to do is some very basic maths. Uh, imagine that you've got a triangle. We have to then take the sine of the triangle angle once we've converted from degrees into radians. Multiply that by the actual speed to get the x parameter. Now the problem with the y parameter is that on a screen, 0, 0 is the top left corner. Whereas on a graph, and when we're doing calculations in maths, 0, 0 is actually in the bottom left hand corner which means that for our y parameter for our speed what we actually have to do is the inverse of what we actually find based on the angle so if the angle produces a positive num number for the y-axis we have to give it a negative number so I've created two more public variables at the top an actual speed which is the speed I want it to travel in pixels and an angle for our object to travel at and then what we do is every time we hit the move calculation we calculate what the x and y parameters are for that particular angle and speed and then move the objects accordingly. So with an angle of 135 degrees, which is obviously halfway between 90 and 180, and a speed of 15, we should end up with a ball which travels nicely in a straight line. If we make the angle 90 degrees, it obviously travels off to the right. But now we're no longer limited to simple numbers. We could do, for example, 100 degrees, just slightly more than 90, so it wanders off slightly at a slight angle. This makes the objects much easier to manage.